Hello, my name's Ben Welsh, and I'm coming to you from the Los Angeles Times Newsroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python's Virtual ENV tool. Virtual ENV is helpful for creating little private environments on your computer where all of your code and the underlying Python tools it's need, it needs can be self-contained. There are four steps to installing Virtual ENV. First, we're going to verify that Python and its installer tool, known as PIP, are both already available for your use. Assuming they are, we're then going to verify that Virtual ENV is not already installed and that you do need it. Assuming you do, we're then going to use PIP, which again is Python's tool for installing other tools, to install Virtual ENV. Then finally, we're going to verify that Virtual ENV is there and ready to run. All right, let's begin. First, move down to the lower left-hand corner with your mouse and click on the Start menu. Type in three letters, CMD. That will bring up a program at the top with the same name, which is the command prompt, Windows's terminal tool. All right, here we are. The first thing we're going to do is check that Python is installed. We're going to do that by typing the word Python, all lowercase letters, space, two dashes or hyphens, and then the word version. This will ask, this will ask Python what version it currently has installed and running. Hit enter. If you see something like I did, which is the word Python and a version number after it, that's good. That means you have Python installed and ready to go. If instead you see an error, that means you don't have Python installed and you need to go back and start there before you can install virtual ENB. All right, next we're going to make sure that pip is installed. Pip again is Python's tool for installing other tools. All right, I'm going to type in pip, P I P, space, and then again, dash dash version. Then I'm going to hit enter. Good. You can see here that my computer says that version 9.0.1 of PIP is installed and available at the path it's printed out. That means PIP's ready to go. If again you see an error, that means you do not have PIP installed and you need to find out how to do that by searching for that on the internet elsewhere. All right. Now assuming these two things have worked, you're ready to continue. The first thing we want to do though is make sure that virtual ENV is not already installed. And I'm going to do that by typing virtual ENV, one word, space, and again, dash dash version. Now this time you can see that error message I warned you about earlier. This is Windows telling me that the command virtual env is not found, that it's not an installed program on the computer, and when I type it in and press enter, it doesn't know what to do. That's a good sign that we need to install it. All right, so now we're going to use pip to do just that. All right, so we're going to return to our tool pip and type it in pip space, then the word install, then another space, then the name of the tool we want pip to go fetch from the internet and install. In this case, it's virtual env. Type those three words separated by spaces and hit enter. All right, pip has visited the internet, downloaded a version of virtual env, and says it has successfully installed it on my computer. To verify that's the case, I'm going to type the same command I did before virtual env space dash dash version and hit enter. This time something different happens. This time virtual env has printed out its version 15.1.0. That means it's now installed and ready to go. If you see the same thing, you're ready too.